Hey guys, what's up? My name's Caitlin, and today we are going to be talking about the G diaper. Okay, so like I said, today we're going to be talking about the G diaper, and this diapering system is so different from any diapering system I have ever seen before. There are some things I love about it, and some things that I are not my favorite, but like, it's not that big a deal. It doesn't really bother me that much. So I'm going to give you a look over of the diaper. The front is going to be this side right here. And then the back is going to be the side that has the G on it. The G always goes in the back. Now, technically, you totally could just like flip these around. It fits just a little bit wonky, but like it works as a diaper still. Uh, I actually use these diapers for when my children go over to my grandparents' house for babysitting because the Velcro is a little bit more easy for them to understand and think of like a regular diaper uh, as opposed to like one of the diapers with the snaps on it, right? So when you've got this diaper, like I said, this is the front. You will actually take the front and Velcro it around in the back. Now, I have noticed that this little feature velcroing it to the back instead of to the front is really really handy when it comes to having a toddler who likes to unvelcro their diaper sometimes he can still get this off but with it in the back he's much less likely to do it uh, so that's kind of cool and weird like I said my grandparents a lot of times they'll lay them down like this and just put it on like a regular diaper and the back will be in the front and whatever it works there's no leaks or anything so when you have these apart, you've got these to close up for a while it's in the washer, uh, just so that Velcro is not snagging and hooking to everything in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and undo this other part and just go ahead and put those down so that Velcro is not driving me crazy the rest of this video. So this is what the inside of the diaper is going to look like. This is a pouch and this is the reason that I say I've never seen another diapering system like the G diaper. You have a pouch that buttons in. So you've got that button right there and you button it in right there. And you do that on all four corners. And then what you do is you take absorbency. They do make specific G diaper inserts. Okay, so they don't make them anymore. G diapers is no longer in business right now. But you can still find them secondhand on places like Macari, Poshmark, stuff like that. It's a shame they're not in business anymore. I really hope one day uh, she does bring her company back because I would love to get some more prints uh, of these diapers. Honestly, they're so cute. And like I said, they are super, super handy for caregivers and stuff like that. The Velcro is just so much easier, especially for people who are a little bit older. It's so much easier than the snaps are. Anyway, uh, what you're going to do is you are going to take your absorbency and you just put it in the pouch like that. You want it to kind of tuck up underneath, up and down. You want both of those to be tucked over just a little bit. This right here, this little outlining that you see is going to create kind of like a seal on your baby when it's folded up like this. And that is what is going to keep like poop and pee from getting out. Now in my experiences, I have never had a blowout with this diaper ever. And that includes newborn breast poop. I know, it's pretty impressive. These waistbands that you have right here, these are stretchy. That's elastic. It's elastic in the back of it too. Another one of my favorite things about this diaper, and I love using this diaper when I know I'm going to be going on a longer road trip um, for the day or I'm going to be gone for a while during the day or I'm staying the night at my sister's house or something like that, is when this gets soiled, as long as there's no poop, anywhere on this pouch liner right here or obviously on the outside all you have to do is take this out and usually I will just wipe this down with a wipey or I will take this pouch out completely so I've got this pouch out completely I will take this pouch out I will get a new one put it in 
And then the dirty one, I will go ahead and like wipe off or run under a faucet or whatever, lay it out to dry because these dry so fast. They do also stain really easy. That's one of the things I'm not crazy about. So I will just place it to the side, let it dry. Or uh, if I can get away with just wiping this down with a wipey, I will just take out the insert, put a new insert in, and then I will put this right back onto baby. What I wanna talk about is this outer shell. The outer shell of this diaper is 92% cotton and 8% spandex. So it's super soft. It feels like, I mean, like a t-shirt. It does have a little bit of uh, a stretch around the legs, but this is not tight around your baby's legs at all. So the next thing I wanna talk about is something that I do like about this diaper, but at the same time don't. These diapers are not gonna be a one size fits all kind of thing. They have four different sizes. They have a newborn size, they have a size small, they have a size medium, and they have a size large. The size large fit about 26 to 36 pounds. So my middle child, my 19 month old Fox, he is in the size large right now. And then the medium, I cannot remember the weight range, but I will put it on the screen right here. My seven month old, is in the mediums right now and then I am also going to put the size small on the screen and then I'm going to put the weight range for the newborn size on the screen well, overall I've seen a lot of people talk about tea diapers and it seems like people either love them or hate them personally I like them but I think you have to go into it realizing that it's not like most of the cloth diapers that we see on the market today but i think if you just take a little bit of time to like learn how to use them and get the hang of them they are really handy in your cloth diapering journey or they can be they're not for everybody nothing is going to be for everybody but personally i really really like them i think they're a really cool idea and i am so sad that the company doesn't make them anymore Covers honestly are not my favorite diaper system. I much prefer pocket diapers, but something about the G diapers just make them so different from covers. The fit is so much better. The little seal that that pouch puts on, you know, around like all the bodily fluid producing parts is amazing. Like I said, I have never had a leak in any of these diapers for my 19 month old which is a really big deal. He leaks out diapers all the time. He's a crazy heavy wetter. My final thoughts are, I totally recommend this diaper. If you are interested in trying one, like I said, you can't get them on the website anymore, but you can find them on places like Macari, maybe even Facebook Marketplace. I've seen them on Poshmark. There's a lot of different places on the internet you could find them if you're wanting to take a look at them. If you have any questions that I did not cover in this video, please leave them in a comment down below and I will get back to you ASAP. And then here's just a little video showing you guys the large tea diaper on my son Fox who is 19 months old and about 30 pounds right now. Just wanted to give you guys a close up and show you what the diaper actually looks like on a baby or in this case a toddler. All right, you guys, I hear baby Coda, so I'm going to go get him back to sleep. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. And if you would not care, leave a like on this video and subscribe and comment down below. I will see you guys again next time. Bye. Making a YouTube video. Come oh. say hi. Say hi. This is my oldest. This hi. Is, this is Xander. Hi. He's pretty cute. I also spend my time in the room playing on my phone. He does. He spends a lot of time in his room playing on his phone.